What landlords are subject to the Federal CARES Act and the 30-day notice requirement to have a tenant vacate the premises? Hi, my name is Rob Wells. I'm the Landlord Warrior on TikTok and YouTube. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. Now, um, CARES Act, we just, cut, we just did a video on that about um, some landlords, if their tenants default on paying rent or any type of monetary charges, they might have to give their tenants 30 calendar days to vacate the premises. That's a, like a rude awakening to a lot of landlords because under California state law, it's generally three business days. And the CARES Act, again, is a federal statute um, that was passed during COVID. Now, um, the question here is, what landlords are subject to the CARES Act? There are two major qualifications for being subject to the CARES Act. Either the landlord has a federally backed mortgage, which basically means your loan is owned by the federal government, aka it's owned by Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, it's federally insured, supplemented, um, or any way assisted by the federal government. So. Uh, for a lot of mortgages, a lot of landlords, a lot of these loans, especially on single family homes, are owned by Freddie, Fanny, or Freddie. Um, so you might have a federally packed mortgage. The other um, qualification for the CARES Act is if you receive a federal subsidy. Now, there's a whole laundry list of federal subsidies that would make a property subject to the CARES Act, but for most of my landlords watching these videos, probably the number one um, subsidy that they're going to be um, that would subject them to the CARES Act is the Section 8 housing voucher program. Hey, you have a local housing authority assisting your tenant um, with their rent and the government provides assistance to tenants based on their income and household composition. That's usually where uh, a lot of my landlords are going to be subject to the CARES Act because they receive Section 8 benefits um, but there's a whole laundry list of them. In other words, if you are subject to the CARES Act, you know, and your tenant defaults on paying their rent or some type of monetary charge, if that's what the eviction's based on, you're going to have to give them 30 calendar days to vacate the premises. And um, if you don't do that um, and you get challenged in court, you may have to start your case over again because if you issue the wrong type of notice, don't give them the, your tenants those 30 days. Um, you're going to have to start over again. So that's the consequence. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer them below. Until next time, we'll talk to you then. Thanks.